goddamn comedy show. It is. You have injustice. What's the problem? What's the problem? Huh? What's the problem? Okay, wait a minute, I gotta say this. I didn't even think that was possible. Like that's one of those Karen moves that I didn't even think existed. Literally, not just heckling from the crowd or boo, going on the stage during a live comedic set. I didn't know that move was available, but damn, Karen just proved it. And her privilege was front and center because not only did she believe she could do that, she was not forced off that stage. I mean, the comedian explained to her why this is funny or why he's the comedian and how this is supposed to work. And management had to talk to her. Multiple managers came up on the stage to talk with her. I guarantee you this. If that was a black man getting up on a comedy stage, somebody would have removed him by force, obviously. Okay, the actor and comedian. Um, Afian Crockett has um, his performance interrupted. This was on Saturday night because that Karen said it was offensive. The jokes, the confrontation took place during Crockett's set at the Comedy Zone. This is in Jacksonville, Florida. After what seems um, to have been jokes about sex, and uh, the woman was heckled, and uh, they shouted Karen as she walked off the stage. Caroline, I gotta tell you, I I really did not see this one coming. No, I mean, as you pointed out earlier, it's that's going to a comedy show. Going to a comedy show, you are assuming the risk that you probably likely in most cases will be offended by something. And the good news is you can leave whenever you want. They're not forcing you in there. They are not um, detaining you in those spaces. But I think this example, as you mentioned, really does get to a troubling, you know, dynamic of of privilege on display here. And and I think, like as a white woman, I, I feel comfortable saying this that starting off, her starting off by saying, and he, you know, rightfully sort of mocks her for it. She starts off by saying, "I am a woman," and you know, he kind of everyone kind of laughs at this. But I do agree, like as. Framing it as if you are making a um, a statement about your oppression or something as a woman is so disingenuous. This is not the social justice statement that you think yeah. it's going to be, and rightfully the crowd is 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 not buying it. And to just sort of literally take up space where a black man is doing his job to promote your you know viewpoint on something is so I mean it's so classic Karen it's this is exactly what we're talking about when we say that white women can sort of weaponize this behavior of some sort of um, 
oppression when in reality, as we can all see, the optics of this are so bad. She's taking up space from someone who is doing his job. And again, part of that job, this is what you sign up for when you go to a comedy club. Um, you are, are always welcome to leave. And in fact, as, as we were sort of chatting about earlier, who doesn't have very painful memories at comedy clubs of being you know, feeling so awkward depending on who you're with. And yep. and those those stories are just as funny as, as the other ones. It's not the place to make a, a, a grand statement about your, your thoughts and feelings. Yeah, and there are appropriate ways obviously to protest and you know, you mm -hmm. leave the facility, ask for a refund, um, say, hey, you know, that, that was really offensive. But just think about this. What does she expect to happen on that stage? Does she expect to take his microphone? I mean, let's say she's successful at getting all the way on the stage. What does she do? Take over the comedy set? Like what happens at that point? And I don't know if she planned it out or not, but damn, she got on that stage and she was allowed to stay on that stage longer than she should have should have been.